message from the phone company. I'm the one who can't get a call through, and they sent me this. Listen, your complaint has been found to be completely unwarranted and untruthful. According to our inspector, Miss Dickinson, do you believe that? They sent a woman. It's like sending a, a marshmallow to put out a bonfire. Here, read it for yourself. You know I never get into focus until 10 o'clock. Our inspector found Mr. Allen to be extremely cooperative. I'll just bet he was. Hello? Miss Morrow, my name is Brad Allen. Yes? I've been advised by the phone company that there's a code number for our party line. It's 793. Now, if you have any future complaints to make, I suggest you dial it and complain to me personally. Why, Mr. Allen, if I hadn't complained, the inspector would never have found out how uh, cooperative you are. Miss Morrow, why are you so fascinated with my personal affairs? I'm not fascinated, Mr. Allen. Revolted. You don't see me going down to the phone company complaining about your affairs. I have none to complain about. It figures. What do you mean, it figures? Well, obviously, you're a woman who lives alone, doesn't like it. I happen to like living alone. Look, I don't know what's bothering you, but don't take your bedroom problems out on me. I have no bedroom problems. There's nothing in my bedroom that bothers me. Oh, well, that's too bad. Well, Mr. Allen, let's try to be adult about this and, and work out some sort of schedule where I can make my business calls and you can make your... whatever you call the calls you make. Now... From the hour to the half hour, the phone will be yours. From the half hour to the hour, it will be mine. Should either of us receive a call during the other's half hour, he or she will terminate the conversation as quickly as possible. In emergencies, each will exercise a little tolerance. How does that sound? Like a report from the United Nations. You mean you disagree? No. It might work. Well, I hope so. I understand that we're going to have to share this party line for at least another month. We'll just have to try living with one another. Well? I was waiting for you to make some off-color remark. Miss Morrow, is that all you have on your mind? Never mind my mind. You stick to your half hour and I'll stick to mine. <laughs>